Hi, everybody. It's Mr. B, Hayfield Secondary School, middle school engineering teacher. This is the first video in getting started in building your mousetrap car. And this applies to whatever kit you're using, whether you use the little mo kit, which builds a pretty small car, or you use what I call the grande mo, builds a really big car. Um, first thing we have to do is we have to modify the mousetrap and turn it into the lever arm that <clears throat> is part of our design. Uh, so when you're done with this video, your mousetrap is gonna be looking something like that. I'm gonna go through those steps um, and show you how to do it. There is a pretty good, with both, uh, any kit I've ever gotten, there's a pretty good set of instructions here that comes with the kit. Um, but when it comes to modifying the mousetrap, I do it a little bit differently, okay? And uh, maybe you'll see why I do it a little bit differently. I'm gonna be switching the camera down. This is a demo video. And so I'm gonna be switching that down. And I keep looking off to my right because that's showing me what the camera is recording. Okay, so you'll be getting a kit. So this is the little metal kit right here. And all we're gonna need from this kit is the mouse trap and uh, the long brass bar. We're gonna start with just the mouse trap, all right? So um, let me flip this around so top is top for you. There we go, okay. Um, really, really important. Uh, your kit's in here. There's uh, some little pieces in here that I'm gonna show you in a second. Make sure you're very, very diligent about keeping all of your parts in the bag. Like you have these little pieces. This is for to hold your wheel on. And you have washers. There's your little string there you'll need for the uh, lever arm. And this uh, teeny little cable tie is you're going to need that for uh, to attach the string to your rear axle. Um, just keep everything in the bag. Don't lose it. Uh, most of the kits have instructions in, in them as well. But I always find it pretty useful to do a demo. So here is a standard mouse trap. Uh, unmodified, okay? We don't need some of the stuff on here. And all we need to do uh, is we need just a pair of needle nose pliers in the mouse trap. So you, if you don't have the needle nose pliers handy with you and you want the ones that have a little cutter section right there, um, go ahead and pause the video and go ahead and get those and start it when you got it. So first thing we're gonna do is remove the little bait keeper right here. And you're just gonna grab, there's like a big staple holding it in. You're just going to grab it like this and just twist it, okay? And it will come out. You do have to put a little bit of muscle behind it. But I pull out one leg just by twisting, pull out the other leg. And this is, uh, you can get rid of this stuff right here. We don't need that at all. I'm just going to set it to the side. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the little trigger right here in the back. Do not throw this away. You're going to need this as part of your lever arm, okay? Let me move this down a little bit. There we go. Uh, don't get it, throw it away. But the staple that's holding it to the mousetrap, uh, that is not needed. And again, grab one side and twist it. And grab the other side and twist it. And you don't need the staple, okay? That's trash. Set that to the side. Hold on to this. You are definitely going to need this, all right? The next step is we need to take this U, the U-shaped piece of wire that you can see right here on the unmodified mousetrap, and you need to make it a straight piece right here, and this is what your lever arm slips on. And we're gonna do that, and this is where my directions start getting a little bit different than what you're gonna see actually in the instruction kit. Not much different, but a little bit. You're going to use the cutting part of the pliers to cut this lever arm right here, okay? And so just li lift it up a little bit and you're gonna cut it down kind of close to the spring and getting it in that um, the cutting part can be a little bit tricky, but you can do it. I got it in the cutting part and give it a really hard squeeze, all right? And you can see it pops free. Okay, um, there's a little piece here on the end of the spring. Sometimes it falls off, sometimes it doesn't. If it falls off, that's fine, throw that away. Okay, now what we wanna do is we want to straighten out this lever arm. 
we want it sticking straight out, not lever arm, I'm sorry. This is the little, I guess the guillotine, I guess you call it. Um, and just get it at the corners right here with your needle nose pliers. And again, twist it slowly until it's pretty straight and then do the other corner as well. And now this is gonna be pretty straight. This doesn't have to be perfectly straight. So there you go. You're basically almost done. I do mine a little bit different because I like to have this piece to be pretty long, okay? You may be cutting it shorter later depending on how long your lever arm actually is. This, I have the maximum length lever arm, so the whole thing would fit on here. But if I have a really short lever, lever arm that is actually longer than this wire here, I'll have to cut it back. But I leave it long because you can always make it shorter, but you can't make it longer. And then in my kit, I'm taking my lever arm, okay? And before you do this, what you want to do is to look at your plan. And in your plan, it says in there very specifically what the length of your lever arm is, all right? Um, this particular case, the full size of this thing is 150 millimeters. My, um, my hobby mat here is uh, calibrated by millimeters. Um, a lot of people are doing 100, okay? So um, there are two options we have here. We can cut this at 100 using the pliers. You can also ask your instructor to cut it using a saw. I don't let students cut metal uh, with the saw because the saw I'm using is uh, actually, I should be using this saw to cut it with. That's why I do it in case something goes wrong. Um, a lot of you are going to be, I think, around 100, 110. So uh, use a ruler or use the hobby mat um, to mark it at, I'm going to go 110, okay? So I'm marking it at 110. And I am going to go ahead and cut this with, now what do you think is going to happen? This is a tube, right? What do you think is going to happen when I cut this? Well, it's going to smoosh down that end where I cut it, all right? And I just squeeze it really tight and wiggle it back and forth and see the end is smooshed. And now you can't get your lever arm in there. But that's okay. If you just use the pliers and squeeze it from the opposite direction, see how it's pinched and it's flat like this? If I squeeze it on the opposite sides, it will open back up. Not perfect, okay? But it's probably good enough. We'll find out in a minute. Um, as long as it fits on this guy right here, which is still kind of a tight fit, try to adjust it a little bit more just by squeezing it, making it more oval shaped and see if it'll slide on there. And it does. Okay. If you're having trouble with that, of course, um, you know, talk to your instructor or maybe they'll cut it for you. You want to slide this thing all the way down to the spring. So see right there? I'm sliding it all the way down. Because in my design example, I said my lever arm is 110. So I can't make it. i got to slide it all the way down. 110 meaning to the spring. Now, if you notice, that wire is too long. Okay? So that's, that's fine. We can shorten it. The other thing we have to take into account, this little, the trigger part that we save, we need to slide it in down at this other end right here. And that's actually going to be how we're going to attach our string to it. So if you just hold it up right there, you can sit there and go, wow, I need to cut this wire off the mousetrap probably in half. So I have enough room to attach this. Um, so it's not sticking out. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put it right there and I'm going to cut it pretty much in this case. Again, yours might be a little bit different and I put a mark there and I'm going to cut it off. Now, know what you're doing, measuring. We don't have any spare parts. We don't have spare mousetrap laying around or these copper tubes or anything. Measure it twice before you cut anything. You're going to measure it and then double check your plan and measure it again. And same with what I just cut off here. 
because you can't come to me and go, Mr. B, I messed it up. I need another one. I'm going to tell you I don't have another one. All right. So now I'm going to slip this on there like I did before and pretty good. Okay. And does it work? Yep. It works. All right. We're almost there. Now we just need to take this end. Okay. And slide it in the other end of the uh, this lever arm too. Now notice there's a little bump in it right here. That bump makes is too big to fit in the tube. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our pliers just with a twisting motion and try to get rid of that bump. And depending on your hand strength, it might be a little more difficult. And it's not going to be perfectly straight, which is actually a good thing because when I slide it in there, I want it to be kind of a tight fit. Now see, this is like really, really super loose. So I took out too much of that bump. That bump acts like a little wedge in there. So I'm just going to add a little bit of bump back to it, slide it in there until it's kind of hard to get in there. Ah, there we go. And I'm sliding it in really tight fit. That is not coming out, okay? Because you don't want this thing falling apart. Notice the loop on here. I actually have facing up because when I use it, this is mounted to my chassis like this. My back wheel's going back here. And the mouse trap is actually cocked back this way. So we want that loop going down. So there you go. You have your modified mousetrap. And just to re re review the steps really quickly, we took off the little bait holder, discarded it. We took off the trigger, okay, um, and discarded only the staple that was holding it down. And we saved the trigger because it goes into the end of our lever arm. It's where we attach the string. And, you know, of course, we had to cut this wire down. And again, I, I cut mine extra long um, because I don't know what it's really going to need when I'm all done. So you cut off, you know, the track part that actually hits the mouse, um, straighten it out, and then you'll cut it down to size. So here we are. This is a mouse trap. Uh, with lever arm, uh, 110, uh, 110 millimeters. I made the length of my lever arm, and it is all set to go. This is the first step you want to do in building your mousetrap car.